everyone! My name is Tyler Oakley, and I am here with the beautiful denim duo. Mm, Who are you? That's right. I'm Joey. Joey Grisefa. Here I am. Joey Gagsefra. Oh. <laughs> and Ingrid herself, Ingrid Nelson. Hello. So today I decided we should do the gayest collab ever. My friend Troy Savon, y'all know him, made a video about what happens after you come out. And I, I thought it was really interesting. I was like, that asked like a lot of good questions. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to make like a little video with you guys asking some of those questions. Okay. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Let's ready? do this. First question, how do you identify? Gay. Gay. Lesbian. I was Gay. gonna ask you this. Because we had this conversation. I know! What? I want to know. In her video she said, I'm gay. And I was like, oh, interesting. Because I, because she didn't say I'm lesbian, but you do identify as gay and, and lesbian. And lesbian. For me, they mean the same thing. Okay, Agreed. got it. When you guys came out, what was your reaction? Oh. I think I saw it online. All positive. All positive. Yeah, positive. 20%. Okay, so then, what was your emotion when you woke up the next day? I was still on the high of, like, it being so happy and positive. Mm -hmm. I still, I'm on it, I still feel very, like, I have the support, like, of happy cloud around I like your nails. Thank you. <laughs> I know. I love it. I'm jealous. I thought I was gonna come in here and have the best nails. Girl. And I'm, Joey comes in I'm like Joey's coming. <laughs> Joey shows me up. Ingrid, what was the day after for you? For me, I feel like because the day I came out, I was on such a high. The second day, I still was, but it felt like I was truly awake. It feels really great, and I still feel that way. And I think it's the same with Joey. You know, I continually feel supported by everyone which is so wonderful but I feel like my relationship with my viewers and my community is more honest and open right yeah I feel like a lot of people think like you will be a different person or something will change about you well, but like yeah, if I anything think... you're just allowed to be more yourself yeah, for sure yeah, you're I just opening up now. yeah <laughs> who was oh the first God. LGBT person you ever became aware of? Do you Ellen. Remember? I Ellen? remember Ellen as a really little kid, and I remember when she came out. That was such a huge thing yeah. for me. It made me feel like maybe one day in the future, like there will be hope. Right. My mom's friend, Gina. She was a lesbian. Gina! Gina! Hey, Gina! Thank you for watching, Gina. Thanks, Gina. We love you. Mm -hmm. I remember growing up not really seeing anybody except oh. like the gay best friend or the gay yeah. Will and Grace. Will and Grace. Yes. 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 Oh, my God. oh my God. Yeah, totally. Do you think it's important for people with influence, whether they have like subscribers or followers or in their public eye or anything like that, if they're celebrities or anything, uh, do you think do you think they have an obligation to come out if they are gay? I got that a lot. I mean, a lot of people pressured me like before I was even like out. Like a lot of people assumed that I was gay. And were like, oh, this person came out, why haven't you come out yet? Mm. Um, and that was very frustrating because it was like, listen, first of all, I need to take care of myself. They're on sure. their journey. Yeah. It has right. nothing to do with yours. Exactly. Yeah. So I needed to make sure that I was comfortable and confident with who I was before I could step up and be that person. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, the real obligation is to yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to work on taking care of yourself first before you can even worry about being this person that other totally. people are going to be looking to. Right. Yeah. Um, so I think it's really about that person being ready. Right. I always think of it as like, you know, when you're on a flight and they're like, put on your own oxygen mask before you put on yeah. somebody else's. Mm -hmm. Do you think people have an obligation to come out publicly? Maybe they're out personally. Do you think they have to talk about it publicly? Because there are a lot of celebrities that people speculate about, or YouTubers that people speculate about, that may be out personally. Do you think they have an obligation? I don't think they necessarily have an obligation, but like, it is a very positive thing, especially now. I don't think anybody has an obligation. And I think that's yeah. like a hefty thing to say. Yeah. But I do think if you are comfortable in yourself, it's a missed opportunity mm -hmm. to not want to help others. Yeah. Because I don't think anyone else has the right to tell somebody you are obligated right. to live your life yeah. this specific right. way. Exactly. Right, exactly. I agree. How are you affected by stereotypes? There were lots of people who were just like, well, you don't look like a lesbian. And sure, they were like, like oh. you don't fit this like stereotype or something. Yeah, like, what do you mean I don't look right. like a lesbian? Oh my God. And that's my whole thing. It's just like, you can't tell just by looking at something. Being a lesbian, being gay has nothing to do with my superficial interests, how I choose to dress myself, the music yeah. I listen to, has nothing to do with that. Right. We're gonna push those stereotypes in grid. <laughs> can, I, can I give Thanks, the middle Joey. finger? If I, yes, do it! Live that. The, oh, there 
you go. I was like, honey. Henny. Well, I didn't, you hadn't given me permission yet, so oh my I was God. being safe. You can say anything on this channel. Fuck. Say, damn. Butthole. Wait, let's play a game. Oh my God. Dick. Shit. Asshole. Fuck. Skank. Shit? <laughs> he said shit. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Pussy. Oh my God, I know one, but I don't want to say it. Oh! Back to the questions. How do you react when somebody says, oh, I always knew? When like you were coming out and people, cause I think a lot of people were like, duh, Joey, we know. Well, going back to the stereotypes question, um, a lot of people took into stereotypes and like, oh, he's flamboyant, he's gay. Which yeah. really pushed me to like, not want to even come out because it was like, oh, like that stereotype just frustrates me so much that people think because I act a certain way or I talk this way that that means that I'm gay. Again, like, you don't know until someone tells you. Yeah. Um, so you don't actually know. You can. You can assume, think. But yeah. that's like. But even then, it's like none of your business. Right. I don't think. And that's going back to stereotypes, which I don't think is, is fair. Yeah. Have you ever been to a gay bar? Mm hmm. And what was the first time like? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh no. oh no. Wait, what? <laughs> Well, first of all, I don't remember a lot of it because I was wasted. Because yes. that's what it took to get me to go oh to a game. Oh. This Wait, was were you so out long ago. No, this was like oh back God. in college. Oh God. Oh. So it was in San Francisco. And Wait, where'd you go? I don't <laughs> know. Oh, honey. She was gone. She was gone. Know. I don't know where I was, but I remember going in and just being like, well, it was so hard. I really felt like I just wanted to curl up in the corner and just be like, because my friends went for fun, yeah. but they had no idea that I was having like, this oh whole, whole internal struggle on top of being absolutely obliterated. We went to a gay bar together once. We were out, uh, it was like this outdoor bar. At Fiesta Cantina in West Hollywood. Yeah, so there I was, I spotted a cute boy, so I went up and talked to him. And then I think I like went away, and then you went up and started talking to him. And he <laughs> was like, no, 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 this is the best part. He talks to this guy and is like, oh yeah, so that guy is a porn star. About, about you? Me. And so Oh, then, when I'm drunk I say every all of my friends are porn stars. But let's go back and I rejoin the conversation. And I'm like, oh yeah, so I'm like headed to San Diego for a shoot. It was like for a video shoot. <laughs> oh my god! Shoot. Oh, my god. Like, oh my god, that totally sounds like porn! Yeah! <laughs> they, you know they shoot everything in San Diego. I know! Yeah. <laughs> my first gay bar experience, I was really young. What I had you? somebody's fake ID. How old? I was 14. Shut the fuck up, oh I my god. god! I it was an 18 How and up bar. It was an 18 and up bar. So I looked like a baby fetus. Yeah, like, and you have the the face of an angel. Like God how? Bless. <laughs> no, I was so nervous because I was like, I don't know what to expect. I have no clue how gay people are. Like, blah, blah, blah. I remember going over to my friend's house. He was an upperclassman in high school and borrowing a pink shirt because I was like, I need a pink shirt to go to the bar. Oh my um, God, this is amazing. Do you think homosexuality is nature or nurture? Nature. 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 5,020. Yeah. Two percent. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, that's a lot of percent. I know. Yeah. I know, that's a lot of percent. If you could go back and do anything over again about your coming out experience, was there anything you would change? I don't think so. I felt very happy and comfortable with the way that I came out and the timing. I wouldn't want to change anything about how I came out because I needed to experience the things that I did. But there is that one part of me that just wonders, what if I had done it sooner? Mm, totally. That's the only thing. Just yeah. what if I had done it sooner? Because like I high love, school. Yeah, or... because I just love how I feel now. So my final question. Huh? Are you ready? No. Yes. Are you happy you came out? Duh. Yes. 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 <gasps> Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have questions about coming out, or if you have questions about identity or anything like that, put them in the comments below. I'm gonna be answering some of them. Maybe if you go down and look at other people's questions and if you wanna give your two cents, maybe you guys can help each other out. But thank you all for joining me. Thank you. I love this video. I know, I feel too. like I got to learn a lot about ourselves. And I feel like a lot of people might maybe identify with some things that you guys said. So I appreciate you guys opening up. Yeah. Uh, if you want to check them out, click their faces, or the links to them will be below. Um, go subscribe to them because they are my faves. Can I go pee now? <laughs> you can go right here, babe. Like, live your dream. Well, there's already that stand there. Listen, <laughs> my carpet. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can go pee. Okay, I'm gonna okay, bye. bye.
Finally, she's gone. I know. What a bitch. We can have our moment. <laughs>